today's question is a little different. It's a subject in hypnotherapy that many hypnotherapists do not want to go. And I've been diligent for a while, but I think there's no better place in the world than this where I am um, in the Dominican Republic to talk about the subject wide openly because this is a wide open place on this island. On my website, it's um, uh, it, it's very, the pages are uh, mentioning about the SRT, Spirit Release Therapy. It's based on the modality that I, part of it I work with is to go into a, take people to go to a hypnotic trance so that uh, they can access their subconscious mind and um, in their experiences as if they're bothered by some other entities, other discarnated beings, dead relatives or even some claim to be dark force entities. As through hypnotherapy we can release those energies and those entities. And um, now is it mechanically happening? I don't know. It, but I trust it's a true experience people may have. In their experience, they are bothered by that. But mechanically, I'm not sure. Everything is energy. Everything vibrates. Everything the frequency. I do believe it's the same frequency we have access to the same things. For example, um, if we, we, our brain wave moves on the same frequency, we may have uh, in that moment same access to certain thoughts. With that said, sometimes in our personal experience, it could appear to me as if, if I have the same thoughts as you in that moment, and your mind goes, I didn't even verbalize what I'm thinking, but you are telling me what I'm thinking, then you are reading my mind. So in certain people's experience, might be mind reading, I'm reading what's going on in your mind, as if I can go into your head, extract to the thoughts, and take them out. So it's appearance, it's a mind reading, but it, in a mechanical way, it, it's just will, will vibrate on the same frequency, same level, really. So spirit release therapy, it's a, an experience that's real for people, and um, I can work with that. Uh, but mechanically, what's happening, I don't know. But we can use an experience like a hypnotic trance to work with another experience of being attached or being attacked by some entities. Anyway, because I write it on my website, opening, I do get a lot of emails from people from all over the world asking me a lot of questions on this subject. So today, in this episode, I'm going to focus on uh, some questions I received from someone I'm going to call uh, Miranda. So, the question from Miranda. I have been on a diet, diet in Peru for five months. Should be tradition because I was very sick. I feel much better now and I feel ready to go home. And she later on, she told me she's from the uh, planet. However, I have been affected by energies and identity from others here and I would like to I would like it to go as I can feel it. So we rather can feel that entity and she would like that entity to go. Would this be something you could help me with? Have you worked with this remotely before? So there are two questions, Miranda. The first two question would this be something I could help you with? Basically the answer is yes in the sense that we can explore I cannot tell you, <laughs> cure you or anything. Just like when you go to see a doctor, they don't they deliver the results to you immediately. They probably would get you to have some tests down and examinations, and then they give you diagnosis, then they give you treatment. So in that sense, can we start exploring? Yes, that's, um, the answer is yes. Um, I could help you. I cannot say more, but to how we can start to methodically explore first. So the second question, have you worked with this remotely before? Definitely yes. I worked with uh, this remotely from 
with people from all over the world. On the same day, uh, Miranda uh, re responded to me. She um, she said, "Dear Camilla, thank you so much for your reply. That sounds really good. Just a few more follow-up questions because I am still in dieta. I think that's the treatment she went to Peru for. However, I really, really want to go home tomorrow. I do feel like." It is kind of a risk if I do not get it out before. Therefore, I'm very interested in your method so I can get it out when I go home. Well, Miranda, if you want to go home tomorrow and you want to get it out before you go, it seems we only have a today to work with. So I'm not even sure if I can. My calendar, my schedule allows me to do the same day booking, especially when I'm traveling. So that kind of uh, puts a little stress uh, on my end. And however, Miranda herself also expressed more um, questions and doubts and uh, concerns. So I'm going to continue to read it. I read somewhere that it takes a lot of time. So she also said it also does in shamanic practice, for instance. Does it really work that easy for you? Or have you experienced that they sometimes are too strong, or or come back right after we release? I'm quite sure it's a rather strong entity of grade five, as you describe on my website, Shimant. I'm looking forward to hear from you, and thank you for your guidance. So, Miranda, first you want to go back home tomorrow. You want to do it today, and I'm not sure even that is doable.、Uh, Second, they, I, I really don't even know you. I haven't met you. Everything I know about you is through this、uh, email with questions. So, without knowing your history, your personality, your strengths, and and、uh, and working with your subconscious, it's really hard for me to answer、uh, the further questions like this. Basically, Miranda, what I want to tell you is, you are not a victim of anyone or anything. No being can harm you,、uh, actually, or steal your energy without you somehow, in some way, on some level, participating in it or playing into it.、Uh, entities are everywhere, like viruses everywhere. Some people get it, some people don't. So part of my work with you is to strengthen your immune system, so to speak, the spiritual immune system. So. You know, coronavirus everywhere. Some people got it, some people didn't get it.、Um, not because of the entities or the the, the virus. It's it also you, how strong you are、uh, plays into that. And I'm very、um, invested in my therapy work in strengthening your own immune system, your own strengths. So,、um, so when you say. When you ask, is that really that easy for you? I I have never said it's easy for me, so I don't know where you got that from.、Uh, however, what I'm saying is, when you are that strong, it's possible for the entity to be very strong, like Type Five,、uh, which means a dark force entity. Also, easy when the readiness and the willingness and the strength, everything there can be both they are strong, but it's easy if if that's what they mean. But I have never mentioned it's that easy for me. I, I haven't mentioned it's easy or hard、uh, in your case. And so, what I'm saying is, it's 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 possible to for the entity to be very strong, and it's easy with you and me and my method together. You are not separated from yourself.、Uh, you are very important part of this whole treatment, and.、Um, That's what I want to say. Even coronavirus, for those people who got it, some people felt less symptoms. Some people felt、uh, very strong symptoms. Some people died from it. So it's not just what that outside of me. What that is, what's inside of me, is an important part of it.、Um, I do not use my method onto you. I work together with you. You, your participation in the therapy work is very important part of、uh, this whole process. Thank you very much, Miranda, for、um, asking those questions.
and giving me the opportunity to do this video. We were just hanging out in a nearby Crescent Beach, Playa Caleton, a gorgeous beach. And then on the end, we noticed a lot of uh, jungle area, so we were curious. We walked into the path, the rugged path, and um, here we are. We found some ponds and a beautiful body of waters, and look at this lagoon. Um, so beautiful, surrounded by the mangrove. So, um, in Miranda's email, she in her questions, she mentioned uh, grade five that she read on my website and she identified what bothers her uh, was uh, grade five. And um, grade five on my um, website um, is um, sounds like this. So this is from my website. The description of a grade five. Grade five possession is controlled by a spirit that has never had its own life history and identifies itself as uh, an agent of evil or demon. This is commonly known as dark force entities. The so-called dark force entities are inferior, soulless creatures. They are not granted a bodily existence, so they attempt to oppress the human soul and occupy another's body. They act on the human's mind his or her sense of self-importance and his or her fear of the unknown, yet in actuality, they themselves are cowards, rather primitive cowards at that. They know very well that human thought is many times stronger than they are. In our culture, the evil spirits play a role in confirming us that we are helpless so that more fear will be created. Their tool is to lie and get a human to believe in their lies. Love and positivity can reduce the intensity <clears throat> and often eradicate such things. Without fear and anger, they will lurk somewhere else or return to a source to reemerge with no po with more positivity. So that's what uh, release about release them back to love to the source. They may be loud when we experience them you know, being attached. They may buzz a lot. <clears throat> Their job is to make us believe that they actually exist. Like, you know, I'm in this uh, beautiful, by the lagoon, in this mangrove, um, in this jungle. It's lovely. It's extremely beautiful. And nobody's here. However, coming here, we still need to deal with the heat and the rugged roads, the, I mean the path, and the mosquitoes and the insects. So the mosquitoes, they can buzz around, making us annoyed, feeling that they have so much power over us. However, with proper, proper protection, like a insect repellent, I'm happy here and I'm free here. It's like those uh, evil spirits. They make noise, they make sound, they can never kill you, but they can make you believe they can, then you are in fear. So thank you very much, Miranda, for again bringing this up and um, 